What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel. Check out the content. And with that being said, I want to discuss um, how the federal government is ruining uh, Puff Daddy financially. Now, we already know that, you know, his image is, is taking a, a serious beating with, all, you know, the, uh, the allegations and the tapes that are coming out and the and the pictures of the uh, the raid and and uh, you know baby oil and stuff like that. So his image, you know, is taking a beating. But also financially, like that, you know, the federal government. That's also part of their strategy too, is to break him down financially, right? And so what they did is is uh, number one, they freezes they they're freezing his uh, his assets, right? Is freezing his accounts rather. And so that is going to make it harder for him to uh, to de defend himself when they freeze his accounts. Um, also, Puff Daddy recently paid eighteen million dollars to to pay off his his fifty million dollar home. So he went ahead and paid that off. But some people are saying that that wasn't a good move because all right, so now you have a piece of property, you have your home that is. Uh, you know, fifty million dollar home, and he paid that off, and he can use that. Well, he tried to use that as collateral, and even if he couldn't use it as collateral, as far as like, you know, to put up for the bail, he can use that, you know, and get loans and stuff, you know, so he can take care of his legal fees, right? But what's happening with his property is because of all this bad publicity. His house is starting out originally being worth fifty million dollars, but he's not going to get the fifty million dollars for that house. And and the reason why is because of this bad publicity, right? People, number one, if he's if he try to use that house, you know, if he say like for instance, if he try to sell the house, and people know he need to sell the house, so he's in a tight position. They know he he's like he's strapped for cash because, like I said. His accounts are frozen. So they're not going to offer him that $50 million for that house because they know that he's in a, like the leverage is with the buyer at that point. And so, and, and the federal government know like that's how, how that works. So he, he's not going to get what that house is, what he think the house is worth. And uh, the federal government, that's one of the ways they can devalue your property, like, you know, like this uh, bad publicity is, is really not good for your, uh, his, you know, the property value. And so he won't get, like I said, that $50 million. Um, I remember uh, recently, like Michael Jordan had a house that was up for sale. And Mike, Michael Jordan is not nowhere near, he's not in a position that Puff Daddy is in. But his, he had a house that was on, on market and that when he originally posted the house the house was for like 27 million and you know because he got married and I, and he wanted and he moved to another house but that house by the time he sold that house and it took 10 years for him to sell that house over 10 years by the time he sold that house it went from 27 million to like i think around, around about 12 or 14 million dollars so that you know, like and like I said, part of their strategy, the government strategy, is to break him down financially. Um, you know, he's got lawyer fees. These lawyers are going to take him to the bank. They're going to charge. They're going to charge Puff Daddy for everything. You know, um, and for the to mount this type of defense against the government, it's going to cost Puff Daddy millions and millions of dollars. And uh, by the time he gets through fighting all of these charges. You know, like I, I'm, I'm not sure if he'll have anything left over for his kids. You know, and and that's that's another a part of their strategy too. They they want to not only destroy Puff Daddy, but they want to bring down his whole empire and also destroy his legacy. And part of destroying his legacy is, uh, you know, is is unfortunately. Is, is is going to really affect like his kids and their future. He won't be able to once once he get fin once they get finished with him, um, you know, I, I doubt that he have any money left. And people say, well, 
Puff Dad, he, you know, he was a billionaire. You know, you know, they they are really going to he might have been a billionaire, number one. He might have been a billionaire on paper, but that don't mean like he had like a billion, he was worth a billion dollars. So that don't mean like he had a billion dollars cash. Like he could put his hands on a billion dollars. And and uh so yeah, they, they you know the federal government is, is really gonna um financially they just raking him uh, across the coals. And just imagine if he lose this case, then he'll have to pay like restitution. And restitution is is going to be like that's going to be millions upon millions of dollars for restitution. And that's going to open the door for more lawsuits. So you know, uh, this 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 situation right here is like financially. I don't I don't see a way that you know he can recover from this financially, because even if he win this case, say, let's say like if he won this case, he's going to exhaust so much of his funds and so much of his money to to beat this case that that might is that's going to leave him broke. And so how will he earn money? Even if he beat this case, like how will he earn money after that? You know, um, so, you know, Eva, I don't see how he can recover from, it. you know, either, either way they got him. If he win the case, he's going to exhaust so much of his funds, you know, fighting the case. And if he lose the case, he really, you know, that's going to open him up for even more lawsuits, you know, for um, like civil cases, um, restitution. You know that's going to be millions of dollars. So yeah, they, they, you know this this is all a part of the federal government plan. This this is what they do. And the less money you have to um, you know to to mount a defense against the federal government, you know the the more likely you'll lose. And even though, like I said, Puff Daddy was a a billionaire on on paper. You know, if, if he didn't have like a billion dollars cash sitting on, you know, you know, it's, you know, they and the government has unlimited funds, unlimited resources. So it, it, there was no, you know, there's almost no way that Puff Daddy can come out of this, this situation, um, you know, with with worth nowhere near as much as he was before, you know, all of these. Uh, charges and allegations and this whole process started. Um, this is how the federal government do, you know, they do a lot of people like this as far as like, uh, you know, financially, when they get through with you, you don't have anything. And if they can break somebody down like Puff Daddy, who is a, like I said, who's a billionaire on paper, just imagine what they can do. You know, that's why they have a 97 percent um, success rate because most most people don't even have close to the money that Puff Daddy has, and they can't even defend themselves against the federal government, you know, because of so much freezing accounts, uh, you know, uh, uh, civil suits that you could possibly face. You know, it's just so much stuff that 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 uh, so many different ways that they get you, you know, make you pay all your lawyers and everything. So. That's my take on it. I just think that this situation is, you know, financially, it's going to ruin Puff Daddy. And uh, that's a part of the federal government's plan. But um, let me know what you think about, you know, the federal government and how they how they just break people down financially and, and really just destroy their whole legacy. Um, with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. And and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about, you know, like I said, the federal government and the tactics they use to uh, to break you down financially. And uh, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I'm out.